Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and no doubt you are well aware of the next generation science standards. The NGSS places an increased focus on self-directed learning, where students take charge. And in order for them to become self-directed, they need to be engaged. They need to be motivated. And what better way to motivate students than fun, hands-on activities? And I've got a great activity for you right now, which is right out of the Earth Sciences and Earth Systems, if we're looking at those DCIs. And this activity involves erosion, the movement of particles due to water. And the particles that I'm talking about are particles of ink. But but I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's take a look at this activity. To perform this activity, the students will need the following materials. A sheet of paper, some tape, two markers. Notice we have one marker that's permanent ink and the other that's watercolor. You need both. Also, we need a source of precipitation. <laughs> this spray bottle right here. And we need to contain our mess, and I'm using a lunch tray. Okay, here are the steps. What the students need to do is to take that piece of paper and crumple it into a ball. Needless to say, they love this part. After they put a number of wrinkles in there, they need to open it up. and begin taping this shape to the lunch tray. And notice, as I tape it to the lunch tray, I begin to form what looks like a three-dimensional model of a mountain range. Ta-da! Once I've done, you can see that I've created a model landform. Okay, the next step is for students to critically analyze their model. They need to look at it and decide where they think a river might form from runoff. So I'm going to examine it and then I'm going to use my permanent marker to trace what I think might be the path of these rivers. I think we're just going to go like this. And once they have the river traced out in permanent marker, then they take their watercolor marker and place a large dot of ink at the highest point on that river, right where the river will start. Once that's done, it's time for the rainstorm. So what we'll then do is lightly wet the surface of the paper. And you can see what's happening. Right now, you can see that the watercolors are running down the model. And in fact, they're following, in many places, my predicted course of the river. What a great activity. And students can use their observations, interpret what they see, and apply that to erosion and weathering in the real world. Take a look at that. This is so cool. So as you can see, there are all sorts of opportunities to have students engage in self-directed learning, become motivated, become excited about what they're doing. And this is just one example of a way that you can bring in the excitement of earth science into your NGSS classroom.